Good evening, one and all. Uh, welcome to Learn CNC with Hobby. This will be my first show, uh, first live stream on Twitch ever. I'm looking forward to all your questions, all your suggestions, and hopefully a bit of education and instruction for you guys in learning how to operate, build, everything about CNC that you need, particularly in design. Let me switch over to Vectric here. When you have a new file, you have the width and the height of your project area. My table is 24 inches wide by 36 inches high, and I could actually work with that. But knowing that my board is only, say, 11 inches wide by two feet, that means that I'll be working in a small little corner of this giant board. I prefer to have it just a little over the size of the board, say 12 by 24 since mine is 11 by 22. Make sure your thickness is correct. You have an option here as far as the material, whether you start at the top of your material or at the bottom. This is very important and one of the things that most new CNCers have a problem with. If you've ever run your CNC into the spoil board, it's most likely because you have set the material zero to the top of the spoil board but you ended up setting your Z on your machine to the bottom of the spoil board. If I'm working on the surface of something, I'll use this. If I'm doing a profile cut or something that I'm going to cut out, often, most often use the bottom. The position at which zero, 00 on the Y is located, you can actually locate it in the middle of your piece. My preference is bottom left. Inches or millimeters, and that's basically standard. Thank you all for joining me. Uh, if you have any questions, feel free to bring them along next next Thursday. Like I said, I'm going to be all over the place from the most basic to the most uh, complicated things. Have a wonderful evening, all. Thanks for coming by.